Ryan Mays, a University of Miami alumni. How important is it to give back to the community and to be involved in football camps like this? Um, it's very important. I mean, growing up, we didn't have these many opportunities, so just coming out here, being able to get a kid uh, like a, a sight or a vision, you mm -hmm. know, some, some motivation is good and it's for free, so, you know. Things what, like that matters. Okay, that's what's up. What advice would you give a student who's getting ready to go to college for football? Um, one, stay focused. Mm -hmm. Make sure you take school serious mm -hmm. and uh, work hard. Basically, every day it's a grind. You know, you got to grind every day, work hard every day. Okay. But on and off the field, you got to be a leader to those and bring, and bring others along with you, like be a helping hand. What is being a leader to you? Someone who leads, like someone who sets an example or sets a trend, a mm -hmm. positive trend though. Mm -hmm. Anybody could do anything, but if you set a positive trend, then you're a leader. If you're doing something that someone could benefit from, mm -hmm. then you're a leader, you know? Do you think putting together events like this can possibly prevent, you know, gun violence and, you know, kids just, you know, staying out the streets and doing more positive? Yeah, for sure. For sure it can. Like, this is just a, a step, you know, like the more time that they have occupied, the less time that they have to wander around in the streets. So, like, things like this does matter for the kids. It, it does help a change. You know, they, they see that people care about them. You mm -hmm. know? So. Like I said, there's no price on it. There's no price on change, you know, so. What's up? I am Couture, the host with Malcolm Lewis, who is currently a Miami Dolphins player. We are currently live at Tra Tracy's Howard football camp. How important it is to be involved in football camps? Uh, it's good, you know, uh, coming up, we didn't have that many camps. Now we're just trying to get back to the kids so they could be developed at an early age. So mm -hmm. once they get older, you know, it's kind of not a new thing to them. It's like second nature to them. Mm -hmm. And they'll be comfortable with everything they're doing. Going to the one and only University of Miami home team. How easy was it for you to transition from being a college football star to now in the league? Uh, now, I say it's, it's more free time, so you got to know how to manage your time. Mm -hmm. uh, Cause when in college we had class, class took up most of our days, and uh, but now it's just like you gotta focus on your craft. So exactly, most of my time is either either studying film or doing extra work, trying to work on my craft. Okay, so what is your everyday workout routine? Because like you said, in college you kind of have someone that's you know on top of you, you know making sure you're eating right, working out. What do you do to make sure you stay on course? Uh, try to I try to make a daily plan, a daily goal for every day, you know, cause. If you don't, you'll veer off. So I try to like, every day I'll try to eat healthy, try to get a workout in, or try to do some extra at the workout that the team gives you, because if you do just the team workout, it's not enough. Okay, that's what's up, it's a wrap. I am here with Tavayas Calhoun, who is currently a Miami Dolphins player. How hard was the transition from Mississippi State University to coming down here to play with the Dolphins? Uh, it's definitely different, uh, you know, obviously Miami and Mississippi. But it's uh it's been cool. I uh met a lot of good people, kind of showed me the ropes. So it's been a, a smooth transition for me. That's what's up. So what's your best memory being in the 305? Uh, the best memory so far, I would just say hanging out with these guys, man. They mm -hmm. just kind of show me the ropes, the way they talk, uh, how they grow up. <laughs> uh, it's just it's totally different from from where I'm from. So uh, just kind of seeing how they grow up and the way they act is kind of funny to me. So mm -hmm. I just love hanging out with the guys. So since you're hanging with the boys from the 305, have you had snappers yet? No, I haven't. No? They're holding out on me. Okay, so you're not, you're not official. If you don't, if you haven't had snappers, you're not official. So we have to make sure, you know, you have some snappers. But, of course, that's fried chicken. <laughs> How do you keep up with your diet? What do you eat day to day, you know, to stay fit? Um, I try to eat pretty healthy, though. A lot of, uh grill food, a lot of vegetables, a mm -hmm. lot of water, different things like that. Just try to keep my lean muscle mass. Don't want to put on a lot of bad weight. You know, that's how you get a lot of pools and mm -hmm. a lot of problems with your body. So I try to keep it, uh, you know, pretty healthy, but that's mm -hmm. a struggle because I'm from Mississippi. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I love my fried Country food. food. <laughs> love so it. what's your what's your favorite food? My favorite food probably would be fried chicken. <laughs> so I'm guessing you, you have to work out a lot. Yeah. Eating that grill, well, hot food, you know, fried. Yeah. Um, what's your favorite restaurant? A uh, favorite restaurant? I don't know. I don't know. I would say Sonic. Okay. Sonic. It's kind of, it's a fast food restaurant. I don't even know if it's popular down there. I ain't even seen yes. it. Yes. Oh. It's actually one right by the Dolphin Stadium. Oh, okay. okay. So I'm, I'm guessing you probably come a different route. But back to the Dolphins, what is your strategies you use to get your mind right before the game? 
Before the game, uh, I think before the game, uh, you you handle that in the week. In the week, uh, you don't do it right before the game. So just kind of lean up uh, the week of practice. You know, I make sure I'm prepared. I make sure I watch film. Make sure my body's right. Uh, hydration, take care of my body, and all different things like that. So when game time comes, I'm ready to go. You know? Okay. It's, it's no no trying to get my body right. I'm already ready because I prepare early in the week. Mm -hmm. And how important it is to be involved in football camps and give back to the community. Always oh, very important, uh, you know, just hearing these guys' stories, and understanding where they come from, and understanding where these kids come from, uh, and different situations. This is just important to come back and show our face and let them know that it's a different route. They could they could make it if they put their mind into it and take hard work. So I'm very adamant about working with the youth, and uh, I'm just happy uh, Trace to allow me to be a part of this. Thank you. Thank you so much. With Mr. Vince Jones, who volunteered to be a part of this camp, why did you choose to volunteer? Um, you know, the kids, man. I have a son out here as well. He trying to, you know, he want to look up to Tracy. Mm -hmm. He's a superstar. He want to do everything he do. So, I mean, he wanted to come out here. Tracy asked me, can I volunteer? I'm definitely down with it, you know, to help the kids out. And how important it is to give back to the community and for the ones who might not have that father figure in their life. Oh, it's very important. Um, I, I can't really say I always had my father in my life, but I know for sure, you know, it's, it's best to have someone that you can always go to and talk to when you don't know what's going on or, you know, you need problems or things like that. So, and I ain't had, we ain't really had too many counts with me growing up. Mm -hmm. I think uh, a lot of kids my age, or I mean, a lot of adults my age, if we had more counts probably back then. A lot of us probably would have made it or had a better future uh, when it comes to football. What do you think is important by um, important while putting together these type of events for, you know, kids in the community where they have somewhere to go to instead of, you know, going to the streets? Yeah, it's, it's very important and you're probably saving, right now you're probably saving 10 lives mm -hmm. right now just from them being out here. Anything can actually happen in this world so you never know what's actually going on. I'm just glad that, you know, we had a lot of kids to come out here. Exactly. And, uh, help us, you know, support Tracy's first uh, annual um, camp. And what's up? I am Couture, the host with Tracy Howard, Miami Dolphins' very own at his football camp. How important it is to put together events like this, and why did you choose to do it here? Um, it's, it's, it's very important. Um, I, I think you know you should always give back to, to the community, you know, especially when you know you've been blessed to mm -hmm. do what you love, you know, especially with the game of football. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I did I did it here mainly because it was like a central location mm -hmm. you know, for everybody to meet up. You know, um, I, I think it's a good area, you know, good location where everybody could come and feel safe. You know, um, everybody could bring their kids and they don't got to worry about anything. Um, you know, great location, you know, and, you know, it's, it's a lot of things that, you know, going to, going to, you know, fact that, you know, when, you, when you're doing it in certain areas, but that's the reason I did it here. What skills did you guys focus on today with the athletes? Um, we focus on a lot of fundamentals. You know, it's a, it's a different age group, so, you know, um, with different age groups, we focus on different things, but, um, mm -hmm. like, especially like with the younger guys, you know, we focus on more like tackling, you know, more fundamentals, ball security, um, proper blocking and techniques like that. Um, so those, those are a lot of things we focus on with, with the younger kids, with the older kids, you know, we just focus on a lot of technique work. So you're currently home in the 305. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to be home to play in the same stadium that you used to play in in college? Uh, you know, it, feel, it feels great. You know, um, that, that left me to come home, you know, with my family. You know, I feel like I'm, at, I'm, I'm in college all over again, but it's definitely a blessing, definitely a blessing. And how hard was the transition from a college athlete to now being an NFL star? Um, Honestly, it wasn't really that hard. I think college was a little bit harder just mm -hmm. because you got school and things like that. Mm -hmm. But um, I mean, the speed of the game in the NFL is definitely a little bit harder. But um, other than that, I, I, I think it was a smooth transition. Okay. Yeah. Is the excitement different or you still get pumped up the same as if, you know, you was in that UM uniform? Oh, no. I, I, I think I'm a little bit more pumped up just because I'm like on the highest level doing what I love the most. So I think I think I definitely get a little bit more excited. Okay. And what does swift with it means to you? Uh, to, to me, swift with it means just bringing your A game. You know, okay. Just being focused, you know, just get, get putting your best foot forward. You okay. know, um, just, just, just being a top athlete, you know, and just being a be, being a perfection of your craft. So stay focused and be on your A game. I am here with Brightner, who recently graduated from Everglades. What tools did you get from today's football camp that you can use in the future? Um, ball security, um, breaking down. Um, Securing the ball, um, quickness, mm -hmm. um, footwork, and that's basically about it. Okay. So on a scale from one to five, how was this football camp? It was a six in my opinion. It was good. Okay. And how was it, you know, to just link up, you know, with other athletes in the city? How was that feeling, you know, networking and 
other people that might play your position? Did you get any, you know, advice from them and vice versa? Uh, one thing they told us is like, um, they told us to basically um, make sure your grades are first grades first mm -hmm. and football then because um, if you don't do your grades at first, um, you're not going to get nowhere because if, if you only depend on football, um, football's not going to get you nowhere. Grades is the first thing first, then football afterwards. Mm -hmm. We're currently live at Tracy Howard's football camp. How did you enjoy it? It's good. It was good? Yeah. What school you go to? Lola Middle. Okay, Vikings. What position you play? I play running back and slot. Okay, and what about you? Quarterback and safety. Okay, how did you like it? Good. You did? What did you learn from the football camp today? football and work on your craft. Okay. And what about you? <laughs> what about you? What did you learn, boo? Learn on how to get my feet work right. Okay. So you swift with it. So on two, we're going to say swift with it. One, two. Swift with it.